All right, here's a video I am going to make because I got a little message that says, Bonjour, je comprends que tu n'es, tu étais très occupé. I'm very busy, but I, I want to see what's going on on your YouTube. I haven't made one for so long. And here's why, because I've been working on models and I want to get them right before I put them on the... Uh, 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 because I, I make videos on them, and I've got two kind of models. One is a tax equity analysis in the U.S., and our my idea is to be able to adjust certain factors and see what happens to the IRR of one investor, IRR of another investor. What happens if you change the structure of the debt? Uh, to the IRRs, what happens if you change a few inputs here and uh, put the costs up or costs down and be able to reset every sensitivity factor really quickly. And the idea here is instead of making these models so horribly impossible to use and big and whatever, I want to be able to change some things, this thing called the deficit restoration obligation. So I'm going to make another video, and I'm going to not only show you about this one, and I think it's so important to keep the inputs all clean and all this, uh, uh, and then uh, 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 and I'm going to take you through every single kind of thing and explain why I put everything in one sheet, unlike the fast modeling guys, my friend Kenny, I, I, he says, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. And then I'm going to show you, because in this tax equity uh, stuff, working through exactly why you get such different tax treatments from these inside basis, uh, inside equity, capital basis, inside called the 704B or something, I count, and the 731 adjustment and minimum gains and, and oh my God, deficit, de, 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 de deficit restoration obligations. Huh, I can't even think about this. I'm gonna, it's going to take about five videos to get through all of this and how some assumptions you make about whether you have a sale with a fair market option and how these all these kind of uh, 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 returns change and how you should make a illustration hopefully to your people or your poor people who are going to try to interpret this this stuff and segregate out everything that's one of the things when I, I i don't even know where to start but i'm gonna it's gonna take a quite a few videos to go through exactly how this works and show you what happens if you make some different assumptions about where you put the debt and how much how much ta taxes you don't get to deduct and what happens I already said if you have a sale and all of this and the components of all the IRRs and whether the IRRs are reasonable or not and how to convert all of this thing from an annual model to a, 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 a periodic model so i'm not going to do this video right now i just don't have time i've got to get on a plane in a few minutes and my psychologist sister is just it's just i can't see if you ever have a psychologist sister i really i really feel sorry for you i'm apparently a narcissistic abusive whatever the hell she calls me and then I'm going to show you, and well, that's, that's, oh, that was so U.S. based, and you can see, maybe you can see, I, even if you're not ever going to do one of those immensely crazy transactions, what happens if you have a regular old solar project? And this is, for me, much more exciting, where we can do the same sort of thing. We can put a little different PPA price in and see what happens and see immediately what happens if we if we inflate the price or don't inflate the price and what happens if we put a, 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 a different uh, a yield and capacity factor assumption and demonstrate that that's not the, the only offtake contract you have here was with Mr. Sunlight and what happens if you put different degradation assumptions in and by the time you put all of those things, you have no idea what you can do. You did so you can reset all the 
the the the obligations and then you can look at what have what's the equity returns if you change you start changing some of the parameters on the debt and automatically have it do all the sculpting and put different debt percents in and uh, all of this and it might be that the debt is driven by the sculpting not the debt percent now you get kind of all the answers. You can see the IRRs and you can see the DSCRs and blah, 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 blah. And you can put different debt tranches in. And the only way this works, the only way this works is if you have resolved all of the circular references with this uh, this UDF and I'm sure about a, a, everybody who's seen my UDF stuff says ah good theory what the hell I'll never use it you know shut up about it and and and, and so here's a here, here's more of a standard one I'm gonna uh, uh, include some of this on the the uh, uh, website you know I, I I learned that this is an elevator you need an elevator column that's really important I'm glad I told you all about that and then I have this scenario analysis which I've talked about very a lot but I think I've got a little bit of a different philosophy on the scenario analysis where you can reset this to the base you can look at alternative scenarios now I don't use the index function anymore I use a, 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 a simple a very very simple little VBA code where you just reset the the uh, scenario numbers and then I've got to add a tornado diagram into this and all of that stuff okay and then we I hate this timing crap and I hate putting the development first I still believe I'm sorry about all you fast modeling people and you smart modeling people and all that shit sorry to say that but but uh, uh, I think putting the operations first is still fundamental please think about my my hero please think about Merton Miller please think about what he said about uh, 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 about separating financing and keeping the, fi the 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 operations clean and apart from the financing I know nobody will ever do this so then you can go to development capex and all your construction financing where the circular references of really exist and I I strongly I, I left it called horrible copy paste if you don't like my UDF you can test it with the and you can make sure you get the whole thing so I'm gonna make another video that demonstrates how you can use these both together and then what we I've really been wasting my time that's why I have very few uh, videos lately is in if you want to apply this UDF method compared to all these other sheets you got to just collect a few little inputs that's all you got to do collect a few little inputs here and then use the parallel model which we've worked for and my partners and I well I don't really whatever one uh, uh, not paid or anything uh, uh, then you can get your whole model just like this your whole model comes out sources and uses fees uh, a CFADS section sculpting DSCR calculations refinancing sections everything comes out and there are a whole bunch of options but all you really need is a few little inputs to get that parallel model to do and that parallel model has it doesn't have to have any effect whatsoever on your model whatsoever you take but if you want it to if you want to use the parallel model you go back to this and I'm hoping somebody said I'm like the Dark Knight or something whatever I've never watched some Batman movie or something I'm sorry if I'm like that if you had sisters like mine you would be too the 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 uh, um, where was I you can take this directly from the UDF or you can take it from a copy and paste and and that the, if the answers are the same that's fine if the answers are not the same either there's a problem in the UDF possible 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 or much more likely there's a problem in your model because I've spent so much time on that UDF and there's uh, 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 so many different options and so forth so you've removed even from a big kind of model where you put all these little wonderful what are these things called spark lines or something in you know all of that you can uh, uh, 
uh, uh, put it all together. So these are introductory videos. Int oh gosh, I've got too much leverage. I, my DSCR is too low. I better lower that. Okay, I better maybe reset all my financing assumptions. And again, so I'm going to make one video only on the, and I already put this stuff on the inter, on, on my website somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to tell you where right now because I, I, I I'm going to have to revise it anyway. But I uh, uh, where where was our scenario? This you can make a whole scenario analysis and very quickly reset it. Or you can use the all of your little spinner buttons and kind of really, really try to, instead of just making some enormous model, actually let people really use it and really look at the negotiation and the strategy. What happens if I could, instead of putting all this expensive development debt in, what happens if I could put some other debt in? And maybe then my... Uh, uh, something's happening to my DSCR. Maybe I can get more more uh, financing in. And I, pff, I'm not quite finished with all of this. I saw this problem here. So what? I'll, I'll, I'll get it all uh, uh, arranged for you. I hope what I'm doing is giving you a little different way to and, and look at what happened to the IRR. If we reset the financing to our original case, the IRR was not... Yeah, I think that IRR is fine, but, you know, this might be in a place where people aren't satisfied with that IRR. They need to steal from the country and everything else. So that's enough of my little videos. I'm, <sighs> okay, so I'm going to make a, a whole series. It's going to take me a while to uh, uh, explain how all of this stuff works. And, 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 and it's coming up. We are so close to getting this UDF so you can really use it in a, in, in a really practical way. It's not some just theoretical concept anymore. All right. I think that's enough of this video.